Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome. How's everybody doing? Hold on. I'm trying. Okay, let's try to get the screen together. Hello, everybody, and welcome, welcome. I hope y'all are having a great day. How's it going? Hello, welcome. Hi, Lynette, how are you? It's great to see you guys. Logan, hey. Hold on, y'all, I'm trying to fix something. And then I'll get in the screen. I know I'm off the screen. Okay, yes, I got it. I hope y'all are having a great day today. Hello to everyone. Welcome, welcome, and happy. How can I get in the screen, y'all? I'm, I'm like out of, I think I need to go this way. Hold on. <laughs> hey, we'll get it together. You haven't seen me in a while. Well, how are you? Welcome. You're having a better day now with you. Okay, that's great. June Payne, T. Portress. Hello, welcome. Robert Debbie Carmen. Hello, Evans Pandora. Sheryl Hinton. Hello, LAS Nails. Angela Casey. Logan G32, Robert Ellis, hello. I'm okay. What are we cooking today? Well, I tell you what, I just released the video, just released the video on how to make delicious fried ribs. Fried barbecued ribs was on the menu for today. I made uh, baked beans to go along with that. And I also made macaroni and cheese. Okay, and that's going to be our dinner. So I literally just released this video about an hour ago. So this right here, we're going we're gonna to talk. We ain't going to do no more cooking for today. We will talk, though, and we're going to have a good time. Okay, Logan, I saw it. Well, that's great. Okay, T. Smith, how you doing? Welcome, Joanne Jackson. Hello. And there's Valencia. How you doing? Thank you. Valencia says, I saw it. Oh my goodness, Keisha Woods is here. Hello and welcome. Greg Nicholas is here. Eula, how you doing? And welcome. Please don't forget your plate. You got a plate. What's your name? Robert, you got a plate sitting, waiting right there for you. <laughs> I got a plate for you. Kimya, how you doing? Steve Wallace, hello and welcome. I want those ribs and beans right now, Gina. LaVon McCombs, hello. Debbie Gibson, Alice, hello and welcome. There's Karen Orsini. How are you? Welcome. Sharon, is that how I say it? Sharon Taylor. I love you too. Thank you. Deborah, folks, I haven't seen you in a while. Had to change the way I eat for my health. Your food is beautiful and tempting. Well, thank you. Well, thank you. I hope you're doing well on your uh, journey to eat healthy. I, I hope it's going well for you. Maureen Butler. Um, hey, listen, if you're looking for a healthy recipe, I do have a healthy channel. Um, and the name is Healthy Recipes with Gina. So feel free to check out that channel. You're going to absolutely love it. Tindel, Tindley, Tindley, if I'm saying that right, how are you? Latora, Rini, hello. Janie Harrison, Lynette Kama, how you doing? Yo, Faith and Light, hello. Oh, T. Smith says, if you don't doctor up your baked beans, choose another side. Hey, I can actually agree with you. I can agree with you on that one. There are even times where I'll put vanilla extract in them babies. You hear me? Yes. Doctor them up, make them taste good. It's one of the easiest recipes, like by far, that you can make, right? Okay, she got it in the comment section. Oh, okay. Thank you, Logan. Michelle Conway. Hello. Um, okay, great. Thank you. I'm doing very well. Well, it's great to see you. Okay. Maureen Butler says, I will watch. Gina, you have plates for everyone in the world. You bet I do. You bet I do. I have a recipe for everyone to try out. I love your recipes. It helps me a lot. Hey, listen, that's what I'm here for. 
I'm here to help you guys with recipes, show you amazing recipes and just kind of help you out along the way. Right. Kimberly Robinson. Hey, I love you too. Thank you guys. <laughs> I'm doing okay, Ethel Bailey. Um, LaShonda Kelly. Hello from South Carolina. I started following about a month ago. I've prepared five of your recipes so far. Absolutely delicious. Oh, that's great. Thank you for coming on here and sharing that with the world because people like to hear that. People want to know like, okay, uh, who's tried her food? You know, I can tell you all day that it's good. But when people come in the comment section and say, hey, I've tried it, it's good and pretty simple to make. You, you know, I love that. So thank you. Hey, Alan, how are you? Joelle Mason is back. Welcome. If I didn't say hello to Kimya, Kimya, welcome back. Big time 66. Hello. And there is Sonia. How you doing? She says, hey, Gina and Chad, I'm here. Just got home from physical therapy. Okay. Oh, thank you, Sharon Taylor. I definitely appreciate it. It's makeup. It's makeup. <laughs> it makes up my face. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Y'all laugh when I say that, but I'm serious. Celette McCoy. Hello. Shanti. Okay. I like how you spell that. Shante. Is it Shanti or Shante? Welcome. Oh, you're sassy now. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize. Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. Ashbill. Hello. How are you? What's the weather like here? The weather is pretty nice today. I'd actually like to say I don't believe it's 70, but it may be like 65. And that's pretty good for us because we're always freezing. So, um, you know, I went out earlier looking for the dogs. They was right out back there. They hadn't went anywhere. But when I went out, I thought, oh, it's nice. So I left the sunroom door open, get some fresh air. You like to fry up some hamburger meat. And add that to your baked beans. Oh, absolutely. Like that's oh, that's way old school, but it's some good eating, right? Absolutely. But tomorrow in the next few days, you'll be better. Okay, that's great. Australia has been in a heat wave. Oh, is that right? Debbie Gibson, how you doing? Camilla Dorsey, hello. Welcome. Blessings to you as well. Latika, there you are. Latika says, Gina, I'm at your door. Open up for those ribs. <laughs> I got a lot of people at my door right now. <laughs> okay, S Sassy says, it's 61 degrees and supposedly, <gasps> are you kidding me? Supposedly going to snow tomorrow. Oh, no. <laughs> That's what I'm not looking for. Like, you'll get this beautiful weather, and then all of a sudden they say, but next week you're going to get three inches of snow. It's like, what do you mean? Three inches of snow. Evans, I don't know how to say your name. Hello, you said you're in. Welcome. Gina, those fried ribs look delicious. Listen, Sonia, I can't brag enough. I cannot toot my horn enough on those ribs, toot, toot, because they are so succulent. They're flavorful, they're tender, they're juicy, but they're crispy, and you don't even need sauce. That's how good they are. If you're a person that's not a fan of the sauce, you don't need it. Just make some macaroni and cheese, green beans on the side, you're good. Or just do a whole plate of the ribs. You don't need the sauce. It's beautiful. I wish you guys would try it. I'm Leslie. Okay, thank you. Thank you for, um, that helps me instead of saying Evans Leslie. Okay. Brandon, how you doing? Welcome back. It got 72 here in Loganville, Georgia. And Thursday is supposed to be 80. Oh, my goodness. You all are so funny. Cooking with Uncle. Hello. Greetings from Tampa and welcome. How's everybody doing? So, listen, tomorrow's the big day. I'm going to um, my doctor appointment tomorrow. 
I'm going to go see the OBGYN doctor. I have no, see, this doctor's a little tricky. Yeah, I, I told y'all the whole story on when she, the day she did the biopsy, I didn't know I was even going to get the biopsy. So I have an appointment with her tomorrow and I have no clue what we're going to be doing tomorrow. So um, I, hopefully she doesn't surprise me, <laughs> especially, I, I just, I want to know what we're going to be doing. She did not explain it, but I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. My appointment's at 1.30. So I can't promise you all content tomorrow. Um, but maybe I'll go live. We'll, we'll just see. I might have like a lot of interesting news where I just do a video and let you guys know, or I may just come live. Okay. Oh, I am. I'm keep you updated on everything. Um, remember I saw my primary care doctor the other day, he was worried about this lump that was in my stomach. So I'm going to ask her when I get there, uh, can they do an x-ray on the top of my stomach? So we'll see. I'll let you know everything. Mildred, how you doing? And welcome. Alaska family, welcome. Hello, guys. Listen, I have to say, I'm just going to say it. We had a great time on the last live. We was talking about, on the last live, we was talking about different sayings that you may have heard, like possibly growing up. And it was a ton of fun. And so I'm hoping that today we'll have some good conversations. When the conversation is good, I tend to stay on here a bit longer. So uh, I'm I'm pretty excited. It was long and a good live. Yeah, I love when I can go on and on when I get on live and I stay on there for a long time. I know you guys love it, and I love it too. <laughs> I do. Hello from Reno, Nevada. Hello, Gloria. How are you? Thank you, Debbie Gibson. I appreciate it. I do. You're having cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers in shells in white cheese pasta. Cheese probably you're probably saying you're having hamburgers and macaroni and cheese. I tell you what, that don't sound bad though. It really doesn't. Marcia Cole, hello, and how are you? Danya says, hello, Gina and family. How are you? Working on my taxes and I need a break. Oh my goodness. I know it's tax time. <laughs> it's tax time. Oh, wait, <laughs> y'all. Let's not even talk about it. Let's not even talk about taxes right now. <laughs> we. Gina, have you ever made St. Paul sandwiches? Tell me what a St. Paul sandwich is. I may have, but I may not have. <laughs> I don't know. Healthy recipes with Gina. I'm going to show you real quick, okay? Totally, y'all. Mildred, how you doing? You're having hot dogs in a bun and fries. And some angel food cake. That's angel food cake sounds good. Y'all, listen, angel food cake or pound cake with the strawberries and the whipped cream. Listen, you give me that and I'm happy. <laughs> Gina, can you say the name of your healthy channel? Yes, Healthy Recipes with Gina. I was getting ready to show you, but I my phone's acting up. I don't know. Let me see. This is what this is what it'll look like. Uh oh. You see the um G G Y logo right there. That golden black G Y in the middle. Healthy recipes with Gina. There I is. Okay, check it out. There's some amazing stuff on there. 
You're doing good. Okay, that's great. Oh, you don't like anything on the top of it. I, I have to because angel food cake is known to be just a little dry. It's a little dry. So I feel like when I have it, I have to have macerated strawberries on it. Some type of berries and Cool Whip to kind of help the whole situation taste good. Latika says, we had McDonald's, Big Mac fries, and a shamrock shake. Do you, do you guys remember? You It was Alan. I think it was Alan. He had asked me uh, to make the shamrock shake for, um, for uh, what's it called? What's it called, guys? Uh, what's, the, what's the holiday? <laughs> what's the holiday? He asked me to make the shamrock shake. I made it. But literally, when I took it to, in the basement to my husband in Dakota, they was like, oh, my gosh, this is so good. They was like, the vanilla and the mint flavor is perfect. Her, like I think, and I made them a big cup last year. I think if I would have had more ingredients, they would have asked for a second one, like right after that. So maybe I'll do that again this year because they loved it here. St. Patrick's Day. I can never think of St. Patrick's Day. I can never think. That's why I said, what is it, y'all? <laughs> what is it? Yes, yes. Thank you, Sharon and Yolanda, Miriam. How you doing? Mm. Thank you so much, Sonia. I do appreciate that. Thank you. Maria says, hi, Gina. I made some vegetable soup. Are you into soups? You bet I am. You bet I am. I love a good vegetable soup. And I also like a butternut squash soup. I know that one's kind of different. And I love tomato soup, a homemade tomato soup. So now I'm going to, I this one is a chowder that I'm going to mention, but I like both of them. I like a corn chowder and a clam chowder and I make the best. Oh my goodness. I'm When I make the clam chowder, my husband goes nuts over. He like eats the whole pan. He does save some. <laughs> he saves some so I can have some, but he... He loves it. I have been waiting and refreshing for 30 minutes. What happened, Ron? What do you mean? Oh, I think I could know. I, I probably know what happened. Yo, listen. So I started to go live. Hey, Ron, how are you? I started to go live. When I got to the, com I took my thumbnail, I was able to pull up the comments and all of a sudden the screen left and I tried to get back to it. I couldn't. So I had to start another one. So I do apologize to anyone that that problem is happening to. I love you guys. June, how you doing? Debbie Gibson says, my mom makes oyster stew. Oh, I didn't get to read your message, but that sounds amazing. Yolanda Timberlake says, homemade tomato soup is great. The canned stuff is all awful. Well, I'm one of the people that that um, I like the can, but I like it homemade too. So I like both. When you get the can, put a little bit of milk in it, put some butter, a little teeny tiny bit of sugar and salt. And it amps up the flavor. It, it it amps up the flavor. You don't taste metal. It, it, it tastes good. Okay, so try that next time. Gina, I've always used provolone or Swiss on my Rubens, but have you ever used Sharp? Never for a Ruben. Always Swiss because they say Swiss. But like I always like to tell you all when I'm uh, teaching how to cook, uh, use your favorite cheese so you can enjoy it, right? I, I, here's what I've learned as I've done this YouTube. I've learned that when I'm making a recipe, let's just say I'm making Rubens, right? And I say, yeah, you're going to put your Swiss cheese on there. People will, guess what people will tell me? They'll say, oh, Gina, I don't eat Swiss cheese, so I ain't going to try it. And I'll be like, no, here's what you do. Use your favorite cheese so you can still enjoy it. So if you like sharp, you like provolone, you like hot pepper, Try it that way and see if you like it. Don't not try it because, um, you know, it has Swiss on it and you don't like it. Just use the cheese that you love and you can enjoy the recipe. 
Good evening, Miss Tracy. How are you? And welcome, Celeste. Hello. I would tell them to use their favorite cheese. Yeah. Thank you, Renee. Hey, listen, if you look up any anybody in here, if at any time you look up and you realize that, hold on, I don't want the screen to disappear on me. If you look up and you realize that um, you forgot to give a thumbs up, back out to give a thumbs up and then come back in. Back out, give a thumbs up, come back in. It means so much to me. It does. Good evening, Yolanda. Yes. Jackie Gut Gut Trick. Hello and welcome. I grab I grab some coffee early. I'm trying to wake up. I'm I'm just uh I'm I'm running low on the energy if you, if you can understand. <laughs> like uh, my energy tank is completely empty today. <laughs> I might not look like it, but my energy is zero right now. <laughs> it is, but I'm okay. I'm okay, y'all. Thank you, Sonia, for welcoming everybody that's just came in. Celeste McCoy says, Gina, why not cre create your own coffee brand? I don't grow coffee <laughs> and I don't know how <laughs> it's to create my own coffee brand. I really don't. I really don't. I wouldn't know where to begin to make my own coffee. <laughs> oh, that's great. Praying all goes well with your appointment. Absolutely, Jackie. Thank you. And I'm standing in agreement with you. And just knowing that the good Lord, hey, the good Lord is in, is in charge. Right. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm actually pretty excited for this appointment. Good evening, Gina. Watching from Mississippi, Belinda Woods. How are you? Welcome. Uh, has your dog, it was Prince. No, he, he was only acting weird when you try to put clothes on him. And I haven't had, you know, tried to put clothes on him in a while. Um, so it's something that is nothing new. It's just something that we've always known. I just thought that I could share the story with you because it's kind of a funny story. You know, you put the clothes on him and then he acts like he just can't walk anymore. <laughs> so I figured that was something that you guys would enjoy. And from the comments, it looks like you all enjoyed it. Frida Casey, hello and welcome. It's Folgers. It's Folgers. It's instant. And then I have, um, uh, it's like, uh, I think it's French vanilla creamer. Yeah. Oh, you're not sure how to change it. It's, you should be able to click on your name on your account. And then they literally take you to exact, the exact point where you, can change your name. You can put a picture up there. It's like super easy. You can even look it up on YouTube and they'll tell you in detail how to change it. There are so many people that comments to me. Let's talk about this real quick. And uh, they'll say, hey, Gina, like they'll just be talking to me. And I'm like, well, hi, you know, this and that. I'll, I'll respond back to them, but I don't know who they are. I don't know who they are and how to respond to them or how to address them because their name just has at, and then there's just like numbers and letters scrambled up. And so I told somebody today in the rib video, I said, hello. I said, thanks for watching. I said, you should change your name <laughs> so I can know how to address you next time we're talking. Because whoever it was, they were so excited to talk to me, but I'm like, dang, I wish I could they could change their name so I could say like, hey, Valencia, you, you know, 
So hopefully they understood how to do it. Felicia Quinn, how are you? Deku, hello. Jojo is back. How you doing? We're doing pretty good. Christy Fowler, hello. Yo, I need to in, pray, pray for the energy. <laughs> pray for my energy today, y'all. <laughs> I need it. You may be able to see it in my eyes, y'all. I'm I'm drained. I'm just all the way drained. I usually don't come on here. I usually won't do a live if I if I am drained from all my energy and I just <laughs> I usually don't come on here. But I's here. I's here now. <laughs> Terrell Unknown, how you doing? And welcome. Do you garden? I tell you what, I don't garden vegetables, but I do love to plant, you know, like um, plants and flowers. That's like my thing in the summer or early spring. That's like my thing. I live for it. I love to watch them grow, to water them, and just be able to sit back and look at a beautiful yard. So um, not with the, you know, fruits and vegetables, but definitely with flowers and plants. I love it. And I'm looking at this yard, like, where could we put flowers and stuff? But then guess what? I'm sitting there thinking about second guessing about putting flowers at this house. Guess why? I'm going to. But I'm thinking about all of those um, yellow jacket hornets or whatever they was at the last house. Will the flowers bring them? And the answer would be yes. So I got to really think about where I want to put the flowers. Because I don't want those, those uh, hornet, yellow jacket, whatever they called them. A uh, ground hornets is what they called them. I don't want them migrating around the house again. <laughs> it's like the worst and you got to pay a lot to get rid of them. So I'm thinking about what flowers and where to put them. If I'm going to put them somewhere. Michelle, I love you too. Thank you. Gina, you could do hanging baskets and pots. Sure I can. And in the backyard, um, I don't know if y'all saw, but the people, um, that sold this house to us, um, they left hanging things where you could put two, um, they left two hooks in the sunroom where you could put hanging plants in the sunroom and two hanging hooks outside in the back. So I'll definitely use those this summer. So I'm excited about that. Put it inside. Yeah, put it inside and you won't have to deal with the ground hornets, right? If you put a pool out there, it will bring yellow. Are you kidding me, Ron? It'll bring the yellow jackets. Oh, Lord. That's the last thing I do. That'll make you jump in the pool quick. <laughs> ah, yellow jacket. Boom. <laughs> they say, man, she jumped in there fast. <laughs> BRB phone call. What is that? BRB. What tell me what that is? Because I'm 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 not sure. Thankful. How you doing? And welcome. What Adrian thinks? How you doing? Welcome. Hi, Gina. Hi, y'all. Says Diamond. Welcome. Okay, Cheryl says you're going to be right back. Okay, no problem. Mina, hello and welcome. What is this? Ron, can you tell me? Okay, Ron and Sassy. Ron, Sonia is Sassy now. Tell me, what is the people saying be right back? What, what? Okay, Sheryl Hinton. No, that's what BRB means. Oh, oh, okay, okay. 
Y'all need to hit me because I have no clue. I don't talk in codes. <laughs> I don't talk in a whole lot of codes. <laughs> Y'all, man, BRB. Okay, so that's a good one. I got that. Let's check mark that. I have to teach that to my husband. <laughs> BRB. Okay, got it. I thought everybody in the chat was saying be right back. I'm like, wait, what's happening? <laughs> what is happening? Yvonne, hello. Uh, Cheryl, is it Cheryl or Cheryl Henson? You're laughing at me. Yeah, hit me up to it. If I'm slow behind and I don't understand, just teach me and I'll get it. Thanks for the hearts on the side. <laughs> the hearts means it's okay, Gina. You'll get it together. <laughs> don't laugh, y'all. Look at Miriam laughing at me. <laughs> Christy, I was like, what is everybody saying? Be right back. What are they talking about? Be right back. Phone call. I'm like, is YouTube calling these people or something? What's happening? And Logan says, I thought it was barbecue. <laughs> y'all, it's okay. But here's the thing. Remember how I told y'all, I always say it. It's never too late to learn something. <laughs> it's not. And now I know. Cheryl, Cheryl, it's pronounced Sher, I don't know if it's Sher, I still don't know if it's Cheryl or Cheryl, 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 okay, Cheryl, until they said it, right, Logan, Logan, me and you are on the same path right now, you learn something new every day, <laughs> Someone, what does it mean? That's right, Ron. Cause I don't know if y'all were winding this back. You're gonna you're gonna look at me like, look at her thinking. I was looking at the messages like, okay, what's happening? Why is everybody saying be right back? They're like, no, BRB, that's what it means, Gina. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I checked that off the list. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's great to be here with you guys. It's great. <laughs> Ron said, I still don't know what it means. BRB, be right back. We got it, Ron. We're going to learn this thing together. And then people started saying it and I'm like, why is everybody saying they're getting a phone call? Like what's happening? What is the color of your walls? Oh, I love it too. Um, now, it's gray. It's it's a gray. There's several different colors of different kinds of gray in here. There's some tan and I think two different colors of gray. But it, I, it all depends on how it's going to look depending on what type of um, light you have, like what color you have in your lights. So if you have like a bright white or you have um, like a yellowish lamp or whatever, that will alter the color and, and make the, the uh, paint look a little different. So let me show you all this. Um, I'm going to show you the chandelier that's in here. And then you will kind of understand that the color will look completely different if it had lights in here that had bright white. So let me show you what this chandelier looks like. I don't know if y'all ever seen it. Let's see. I'm going to. Can y'all see? Did y'all see the chandelier? It green gray. It looks. Oh, does it? Could y'all see the chandelier? Oh, okay, okay. Yo, I love that chandelier. It's like beautiful. So, but but I, my purpose for showing you that is because it has like a yellow light to it. So that makes it, the gray look a little darker. You're welcome, Michelle. How you doing? Oh, you love yellow? Ugh. 
I wasn't sure if that was going to work. Let me see. How did I do that? What did I do like this? Did y'all just see the chandelier just now? The chandelier? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. You got rid of a troll on the other one before you came on here? Are you kidding me? Oh, no, Ron. <laughs> I sure apologize for that. I hate that. I hate that. I don't know what happened. I tried so hard to get back onto that live, and I couldn't. Oops. Hold on, y'all. Hold on one second, y'all. Hold on one second. I'm I'm still here with you. Okay, I'm looking at something real quick. Oh, that's such a funny word, Ron. He said, oh, nasty heathen. What did they say, <laughs> oh, Ron? I don't want to know, but thank you for getting rid of them. <laughs> they come on here. They something else. Ron defies this troll word. I've heard it before, but I don't know what it means. <laughs> Ron, woo child. That's what she said. Woo child. I was like, wait a minute. <sighs> mm -mm. Funny. Hello, Marcia Bullock. How are you, my holy king? Hey, and welcome back. How are you? Oh, look at that. Saying the same thing over and over. Vulgar. Mm. I, I tell you what, I thank you for getting rid of them. Oh, yeah. Have you heard from Derek lately? I got a ton. We only ate one out the bunch. Just the one that I ate. Because what they want to do is save it for dinner. So my husband said, ooh, he said... Um, that's right, Ron. Trash got the go. Um, so um, my husband said he wanted macaroni. So I made macaroni to go with it. He didn't even know that I had ribs to go with it. So, uh, oh, okay, hold on. I'm looking at what I was curious about. The chandelier. Hold on. Guess what? I was looking at when I, hold on, I'm going to tell y'all something. Hold on, I'm going to tell you. Hold on, I'm going to tell y'all something real interesting. And y'all going to crack up. I'm not ignoring you, but I'm looking at something on the live. I have to make sure of something. Hold on, hold on, guys. Just bear with me. Hold on, I'm going to tell you and you might laugh. Or you might say, oh, no. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Stopping by on my 15-minute break. Sherry, thanks for coming in and joining. Absolutely. <clears throat> okay, so I'm about to... You're a friend with him. You'll look and see. What is it, Gina? I'm ready to laugh. Okay, hold on. I'm going to tell you. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. 
Okay. So what I was doing, I was rewatching the live. <laughs> Y'all, because as I lifted my computer up, I forgot that I got on this table, this dining room table, I have a ton of important paperwork. <laughs> paperwork that has some really important stuff on here. Oh my goodness. I got tax papers. I got uh, stuff from the bank. I got all kinds of stuff because I was just doing something before I went live. And I was making sure when I did like this that y'all couldn't see my table, but you couldn't. So I looked at both times on here. I looked at both times when I lifted my computer up to make sure I didn't flip it too far and you guys seen all of my personal information. So I'm good. My two years tax uh, papers is on the table. We're all good. Everything's good. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm still, I'm okay. <laughs> we Okay, I got the sweating. You're going to message him? Okay, just to see how he's doing. I feel so much better. I was getting ready to freak out just a little. I was going to uh, interrupt the live and just completely delete it. I was. You bet I was. That's exactly what I was going to do. <laughs> if I would have seen while I was watching this, that all of that paperwork was shown, I, this live would have been deleted. <laughs> I know that's right, Gina. I know, I know. I don't know why I brought that stuff in here. I had it, me and my kitchen, me and my kitchen, me and my husband was doing some really important stuff in the kitchen. And when I went live, I brought all that paperwork in here. I don't know why I brought it in here. I should have took it upstairs. I'm doing okay, Faces. How are you? Gina, next time use a clean table. The table is clean. I just, I didn't have them spread out. I just had like three papers <laughs> sitting there. <laughs> there we go. Chef Deb, how you doing? Oh, you said owing taxes. Just a question, nothing personal. What, what does owing taxes mean? What what's your question? Do you have a question? <laughs> Sonia and Christy, I just messaged Derek and waiting on the respond. Did you ever owe taxes? Absolutely. <laughs> every year. Every year I do. Oh Lord. Yeah. Every year. Yes. Yes. But here's the thing. If you get, um, you got to learn about taxes. You have to learn a lot about taxes. You have to have a good CPA. This one to teach you different things that you didn't know before you were ever in a position to owe taxes, you know? And, um, and then um, there's different ways you can get on payment plans and stuff like that. Like there's things that you can do, but um, I don't, I don't get taxes back every year anymore. That stopped. That stopped like um, probably the first year of YouTube. We didn't get no taxes back. Keeping good records. Listen, if you get, if you um, are like a, a content creator, YouTuber, you keep receipts for everything. Everything. If you, if I do content at the hotel, like y'all seen me do in the past, keep the receipt. Keep the receipt for everything that you purchase for your videos. 
everything that you purchase for your business. Um, all of your uh, office supplies that you use for the business. SD cards, everything you're going, everything you need for your computers, for your printing, for everything that you use for your YouTube, you make sure you can uh, write it off, but you got to have receipts. You have to have receipts. Mm -hmm. And I keep uh, track of my receipts uh, very well. Yeah. Yep, you have to have receipts. Hi, Raymond. Hey, how are you? Welcome in. Uh, what about fruit, food products, and for cooking? Absolutely. Um, if it's used for the channel, yes. Office space, yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. I know they start to fade. Yeah, they start to fade. So you can um, like take pictures of them and um, send them to your email while they are not faded. Because like you said, um, there are some that will fade and then you'll have no record anymore. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. T Smith. There you go. Mm hmm. And all that stuff that T. Smith is talking about, you can get that stuff at the dollar store. You know, like the little briefcase that have the different sections and stuff. Put all your papers, all your receipts, all everything that has to do with that. And then when it's time to do the thing, then you'll be ready. Mm hmm Every single receipt. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Every single receipt. And what's nice about um, Instacart now is they allow you, if you have a business, um, they allow you to do a business account with them, which is great because um, before in the past, I would have to um, like look up every single receipt and print them out. And that can be like nerve wracking. But now if you open up a business account with them at the end of the year, you can get like a, a, a printout of everything that you've purchased and stuff. Or you use, like we have a business account, um, or you can use your business account card for nothing but business stuff. And then at the end of the year, you turn in all of the paperwork from the bank from your business account and then wham, bam, you can do it that way. There's so many different ways you can do, but you have to have a good CPA. I have been going through receipts all day long and I hate it. Oh my goodness. Yes. Mm -hmm. I totally understand. We, mm-hmm. Hey, I love you too, Kathleen. You say, hi, Gina. First time here, but I've watched you from years and I love you. I love you too. Welcome. So Raymond, how you doing? That is a lot there. And guess what? My Holy King is even more than that. <laughs> it's more than that. Okay. So Raymond says, when I shop at Walmart, run my receipt always go to the app. Oh, okay. Yeah. And everything I purchase is there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, Leslie says, I'm so glad you're live. I watched a video years ago where you made stuffed shells and Italian sausage and bricata, and I cannot find that again. Is it posted somewhere? I have no clue because throughout the years, I have made videos. If I wasn't happy with it, maybe I've deleted it. So I don't know. I'm sorry, but I just don't know. Um You'll have to just kind of search and see. I'll I'll look and see um, during this live and see if it's still up. I really don't know what video you're talking about. I know you explained it in detail, but I'm not sure. I have made almost 2,000 videos, so I'm just not sure. 
There you go. And phases. I love the way you do that. Mm -hmm. And then we have, you also want to make sure you separate the food that you buy for your house. You cause you can't put that in. So those are two different, you know, two different entities. What you buy for your house is not what, you know, but what you buy for the channel is what you use or for a video. Mm -hmm. I've searched for a long time. Oh, okay. Yeah, Gina, they give you, uh, 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 you can, you would have to set that up like with the IRS mm -hmm. and they'll, they'll work with you, but they ain't gonna play with you either. <laughs> right. They'll work with you, but they ain't gonna play with you and you will pay. <laughs> right. Absolutely. You will. I made your pound cake the other day. And it's the first scratch cake I ever made, and it's so good. Oh, my goodness. Kathleen, say it again for the people in the back. I love that, Kathleen. So thank you for sharing that with us. I love it. Thank you for sharing that. So many people want to know, what does the recipes really taste like? Now, um, how did you think it was easy? Tell me, did you think the recipe was easy when you made it? I really love your video about your experience. Um, that was amazing. But then again, Gina, you are incredible. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. I, I, I definitely appreciate that. I really do. Thank you. I love you guys. I'm here for you. What I do like doing is I like sharing any experience that I may have. I like if I if I can share it with you. I like sharing things with you guys um, because you know we realize that you guys are just like me. You guys are just like me. We're we're you know and um, every once in a while I like hold on y'all. I'm trying to fix my makeup bag that little pink bag that I just had. Um, I like to share things that can help somebody, you know, maybe somebody went through a similar experience or a similar health experience and I can give them some insight on something, you know, so when I have a good topic that I feel like can help somebody, I'm definitely going to share it. Even if it's health wise, no matter what it is, like we was talking about with my Holy King with taxes, somebody might need to know, <laughs> you know, you said you're used to Sonia. Yeah, I think I can get used to it. I have someone else on here that I used to remember her name by something else and she changed her name and it was so hard for me to, um, it was so hard for me to get used to it, but I finally got used to her new name, but I'll never forget when she changed it, you know, <laughs> Oh, Sassy is her nickname. Okay, I didn't see. I didn't know that. It's actually a cute nickname, too. Step by step in the process. Absolutely. That's that's what I like to do. I, 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 that's what I like to do. Everybody's well. How are you, Tracy? You misspelled my name. It's okay. Some people spell my name with a J. Some people say all kinds of, they, you know, they spell my name different ways. And I understand that it's a mistype, like a misspell. And I'm like, it's okay with me, you know? Oh, let me tell you all this experience, this whole experience. So there's a groundhog that lives next door. Well, I think he used to live behind us. But remember, we took chicken wire and we covered up any little imperfections to the fence to where like not a groundhog, not nothing. And this is going to be interesting. To where not a groundhog, not nothing can get through the fence. Our dogs can't get through the fence. Like 
what's in the yard will stay in the yard and what's out the yard won't be able to get in. Well, I look out there and there's a groundhog in the yard and I'm, I got video and I'm wondering how do he get in there? And I'm mad. I'll tell y'all I'm mad. The reason why I know the reason why is because, you know, me and my husband was out there one cold day, <laughs> one cold day this winter. And we was putting chicken wire at the bottom of the fence all the way around the fence to make sure our little babies can't get out. Well, and we've seen some spots where like it's potential that maybe a groundhog or our puppies could get out. We closed it up and then we walked the yard. Like he walked the yard this way. I walked the yard that way. We did the whole yard and we thought we're good. I look out there today and lo and behold, this big old fat thing. Big old fat groundhog sitting in the middle of the yard. And I'm looking at him through this window here. And I thought, you have to be kidding me. He big, big old fat thing. And they ain't got hardly no legs. Like their legs have to be this small because they're on the ground. They look like their stomach rubs on the ground. That's how short they are to the ground. So this thing, he's sitting there and uh, he just chewing on the grass. He ain't doing nothing. I'm thinking, what's he even in the yard for and how'd he get there? So I said, I'm going to watch him. I sat in the window for an hour, y'all. And I'm watching this thing. He, he was cute as all get out. I said, how you going to get out? I'm cussing at him. <laughs> I, I was so mad at him. How did you get in the yard? Okay. So, and I'll show you some of the video too. You've been following me for years. Okay, Mina. Thank you for coming in. So uh, he's up on the fence and he trying to get back into the neighbor's yard. And he's doing this up against the fence. He's doing this. He can't get in. He can't get in. And he's mad. And by now, he's got to be frustrated and mad that he can't go nowhere. I'm thinking, well, how'd you get in? And I said, I'm going to sit. My husband wasn't here. I said, well, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to record you. And I'm going to figure out how you got in so I can close you out. Boy, it took an hour and a half. He finally found his way out. And I thought, oh. That's a place where we didn't put no chicken wire. So I told my husband, I, I said, baby, when he came in, I said, you want to see? I said, I got three videos for you to watch. I said, a groundhog got in the yard and then he found his way out. <laughs> right. So um, when the, the place where he got out, I'm going to order some more chicken wire and it's very expensive. We're going to tie it on there and he should be locked out and our babies can't get out. Let me show you the video. I can't wait to see this video. Okay. Let's see. You're going to see it. Uh -huh. Oh, Lord. I'm going to turn the volume down because I was cussing this thing out. Get your butt out of there. How'd you even get in the yard? I was so mad. I was so mad. And then at one point he was doing this. He had his mouth on the fence and he's doing like this. And I'm thinking, oh, no, he's going to tear up the chicken wire that we put on the fence. I'm like, I'm watching. I'm like, is anybody else see what he's doing to the fence? He didn't damage it. But I will go out there tomorrow to see if he did something. So let's see. I was mad at that thing. Let me turn the volume down. Okay. I'm going to zoom in. Oh, crap. Y'all see him? Look at him. Look at him go, little stanker. And then he going to get up against the fence and cannot find his way out. Hold on. I'm going to zoom in over there where he's at. Oh, but you might not be able to see him, but he's over there, okay? There he go. Look at him. Can't find his way out. So that's one video, right? Let me go to the other video. I was so mad at this thing. Tell, tell me when you got, hold on. Tell me when you guys can see him. Hold on. You might not be able to see him. Hold, hold on. Here, 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 here's where he got out. Hold on. Look at him. 
I'm like, where did you even come from? Look, he's trying so hard to get out. I was like, get out. Look at him, look at him. He was doing everything to get out and couldn't. I was like, he gonna put a, like a, a, a hole in the yard. So I watched him and where he went. <laughs> Everywhere you move, there's a jungle. It is, it is, it is. You know, <laughs> look at you. <laughs> but, um, so I'll show that to my husband and I'll put it on the big screen so he can see it. Because tomorrow I'm expecting, I'm going to order the chicken wire. And I'm expecting for us to go out there and fix the situation. I cussed that thing up and down. I was in the house though. I could have went to the sunroom and tried to scare him, but where he going to go? Because he couldn't get out the yard. <laughs> No, I'm not afraid of groundhogs. I wouldn't even have been afraid to go to the sun room and say, hey, get out of here. You know, I don't know. I don't know how I would have scared him. Maybe hit a broom on the ground or something. I don't know. You should have cooked him. Oh, Lord, no thanks. I don't want that. Mm -mm. You do. Thank you, Deb Prant. Oh, that makes me so happy. Thank you for coming in and joining us today. Oh, so I seen where he went. And so he went into like these big bushes. And I bet you there's like a ton of them in that bushes. But that area that he got back out is an area where we put no um, chicken wire. So that's probably the only area that you can get in or out. So we're I'm we're going to completely fix that area. <laughs> no thanks. No thank you, my holy king. Mm -mm. What's the temperature there? I'd like to say it's about 60 something. Nerly, how you doing and welcome. Oh, ah uh, ah uh, Sonia. Oh no. <laughs> She said, I can't wait to see this video, but the video is more in depth and it's real funny because the way I'm talking to the groundhog through the window, I even tried tapping on the glass and he looked up at me. I thought, get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that's the only, that's the only thing so far, Celeste. Priscilla, everything's doing okay. Thank you for asking. How are you? I know. Mina, I believe that. I ain't never going close to them. Mm -mm. It's 65 in Brooklyn. That's about what we have here, I'd like to say. Good evening, Donna. How are you? My coffee is cooled down and I, I really like hot coffee. I'm not feeling the time of the, I never feel the time of the, the time springing up. I never even realize it. It doesn't, it doesn't never phase me. Everybody's like, um, even when I was out in the work field Everybody um, would always be like, oh, no, we're losing an hour. I've never been like that. It don't bother me. It don't bother me none. It doesn't change nothing. Oh, you're loving the weather. Uh, what's the weather where you're at, JoJo? You said hugs and kisses to everybody. Thank you. Oh, Sharon says it got up to 71 in lower Michigan today. Okay, that's super exciting. Go warm it up, Gina. I'm ready for the heat outside. Me too, Raymond. You know I am. 
Because, Gina, you're filled with caffeine. Oh, a 66 in Columbus. JoJo, you remember I asked you, I said, um, I, th I thought JoJo was my cousin, y'all. And I said, uh, and, and he's from Columbus. <laughs> I said, what's your dad's name? <laughs> JoJo, do you remember that? <laughs> because I have a cousin named JoJo. His dad's name is Joseph. And uh, of course, they live in Columbus where I was raised. And he said, no. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> I did. I asked him. Yeah, Kathy says, I never noticed a time change either. I mean, we know that it has changed, but it never, it never made any difference to me. Oh, wow, Leslie, that's interesting. Yes, I want to, my Holy King. When I tell y'all that I really want to do that, uh, my Holy King, I really want to. I, I did tell my husband, we just talked about it, that I do want to get the tents to put in the back and we could just have a splendid time and, you know, do some marshmallows and just have a great time back there. Um, I'll definitely do it this, I'll do it this year. I want to. You said Drew Moss, the boss is here. <laughs> Drew Moss, the boss is here. Uh-uh, uh-uh. No, that whole thing will be fixed, <laughs> Ron. <laughs> Groundhog in the tip. The whole, we just got to fix a little piece on the fence. And I think he'll be stuck in that yard. We ain't got nothing over here that he wants. Why was he? He was just chewing on some regular grass. <laughs> I'm ready for some barbecue. Me too. Uh, Drew, how you doing? Drew comes in and says, I'm trying to avoid trouble. I don't want no trouble today, y'all. <laughs> That sounds fun. You know it does. Lanterns, roasted marshmallows, and story time when you when you do the camping. Oh, look at the little campground. It would be a lot of fun. And maybe I can like barbecue that day, like earlier in the day. Right, Rana. Did you remember that they had a garden there last year? So there was a garden back there last year. He's probably used to coming in the yard and possibly looking for, because they had cabbage, they had all kinds of stuff, tomatoes and sunflower. They had all kinds of stuff out there. So uh, maybe they're used to coming in this yard to, you know, to eat the garden, but ain't going to be no garden out there this year. Ate all your collards last year. Oh, no. Hold on, y'all. Oh, I can't click it. Chris, how you doing? And welcome. You want brisket, but they're so expensive. You bet they're expensive. They are super expensive. Gina, you have enough room for 10 or more dogs in your yard. Oh, you, yeah, we do. Big dogs. But, it, you know, on a serious note, we may get another dog. I don't know when. You guys will hold me to it. Like, when you get, when? <laughs> like, when? Didn't you say you're going to get this? Like, I, I do eventually want one more. The same type of dog that we have here already, like Prince and Polo, I want that same type of dog. Gina, did you cook corned beef brisket? No, I didn't. 
It sounds good right now. That would be awesome. You bet it would. Um, we like to train our own dogs, so we would get it, you know, little tiny, about this big, and then we could train it ourselves. Yeah, we want to train it ourselves. <clears throat> it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy to train a dog unless you just have a dog that's just super hard headed. Polo was super hard headed when we first got him. And for some reason, he liked to go in my husband's closet and like poop on the shoes. He did, but he was only this big. Yes, he did. See, we at that time when <laughs> your expression, <laughs> uh, that's when they were brand new babies. Um, I know, Kim, yeah. Uh, when they were brand new babies, you still got to potty train them. And so what we, I'm not joking. Oh, you said Drew's joking? <laughs> no, J Chris, you know he's joking. You know he's joking. Don't, don't, don't believe him for one second. Oh, but what I was going to say, um, when we first get the puppies and they're that small, just weeks old, we get the pee pads. So it's a, like a, a little pad. It has padding to it. So when they pee, it doesn't soak through or nothing. You put them in the bathroom, like in a corner somewhere, and they'll go on that. And then they'll smell it and they realize where they're supposed to go. Well, eventually you'll move those pee pads closer to the door, right? And then you keep moving them closer to the door until you finally begin to take them outside. But the whole thing works the way we like to do it. It works and they understand what they're supposed to do. And uh, potting training has been really easy for us. But I, I really enjoy those pee pads because they work when they're babies. And look, and what after they go, even if they do number two on it, you just wrap it up, put it in a bag and, and put it in the trash. Right? Because when they're that little... It gets funky in the summertime. No, because your house is, it's not like your house is super hot in the inside. You know, you have the air on. And soon as they go, soon as you see it, you pick those up, tie them up, put them in the bag and get rid of them, mop the floor and put new ones down. It's like every time they go like a baby when you change their diaper, you know, right? But, um... They are so cute. Oh my gosh. I love them to pieces, but eventually I want another one just like that. And I think my husband does too. I think he wants another one just like them and it will be a boy too. I will not ever get a girl. I don't want a girl. I don't want a girl. Mm -mm. You miss, you miss this mistress. How you doing? I had a second job due to being, uh, solo on bills, but I'm back. Welcome. How are you? I don't know what we're going to do with him. I know. I know, Chris. He's something else. Gina, me and my sister Tina did Uber Eats last night up until 3 a.m. We deliver and pick up the orders from Cincinnati in Kentucky. My sister saw a, a guy laying on the ground trying to sleep. Oh, mm-hmm. Gina, do you know if you can rent dogs? I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm stuck on that one. I've never heard of that. I'm, I'm kind of stuck on that question. I've never heard of anybody renting dogs. I've heard of people babysitting dogs. <laughs> Oh, she tried to see if she had a blanket. Yeah, I do understand. Yeah. <laughs> you said rent a dog? I've never heard of that. <laughs> oh, you say Prince and Polo would probably not want to share their mommy. They would have to. 
<laughs> they would have to. And I feel like um, that they would love it because we would get it as a baby. And I think they would protect it and love it. Um, there is, um, so there's a little teeny tiny dog. It's a girl dog. Uh, she's black in color and she's smaller than them. And when she, like her bark is tiny, it's, it's tinier than their bark. They pay her no attention. She's in, she's, um, like a house that's behind us. This dog is so tiny. My husband said, you can't even see that dog behind the grass. Like she's so tiny. They pay her no attention. They want all the action with the big dogs. So there's big dogs out there and uh, they'll go up and down the fence with these big dogs and they love it. When that little one's out there, they pay her no attention. So it might be like that if I were to get another one. <laughs> Rent dogs. I, I know it was a joke when he asked me that. I know it was a joke. <laughs> what if I'm what if I'm late returning the rental dog? <laughs> right. Like I'm 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 stuck, Jojo. I don't understand. Jersey Nate, how you doing? Oh, a foster dog. Mm. So Kimya says yes to that. And she's saying a foster dog, because when you foster a dog, you may just have them for a night or you may have them for a month until somebody, you know, gets them. So that can be interesting. The answer could be yes. I don't know what they'd be doing in the big dogs. They'd be doing like this with their face up against the, uh, the fence. And they'd be looking over this way, looking for my dogs. And my husband will let them out. And then it's just a barking match. <laughs> my husband's like, oh, let them go out and play. I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, you're right, Gina. Uh-huh. Oh, you're on the clock. Okay, Jersey Nate, we appreciate you coming in, though. Foster a St. Bernard. N ain't no way. Them things is too big. I don't want a dog that slobbers all over the place. Uh, uh -uh. I don't want a dog that's going to slobber all over the place. The slobber is not for me. <laughs> the slobber is not for me. Can you imagine? You know how sometimes they do like that and shake their head. My hair is stuck on my lip gloss. They'll shake their head and then slobber goes all. Oh, no. See, I can't. I can't do that. I have you cracking up with the girl dog. They don't pay her no attention. She'd be like, ar, ar, ar. they'd be like, what? <laughs> they'd be like, girl, bye. I think that's what Prince and Polo be saying. Girl, bye. <laughs> they don't pay her no attention. <laughs> I have something stuck in my retainer. Y'all know I got a retainer in the back of my teeth. I keep sucking on it. I cannot get it. It's driving me completely nuts. I have a retainer built in the back of my teeth. It's something stuck there. I'll have to get it when I get off of here. Hello, Shirley Clark. How you doing? And welcome, Beethoven. I would, I would never, I would never. And guess what? I would definitely not get a um uh what is it called? Um uh what what's the what's the police dog? Oh, no, they don't panic when they go to the doctors. No. They be good. They be okay. And uh, we be right there with them. They let the doctors do whatever they need to do, uh, even if it's time to get shots or whatever. They'll be pretty good because we're right there in the same room with them. Now, when we take them to boarding, like say we're going to... Uh, do something overnight. We're going to a cabin or something and they have to do boarding and then we leave. 
that's when they say, oh, heck no, I don't like this. Right. But we put them in a place that has they have like a TV in their room. They share a room, of course. They have like a little baby bed in there that they share. It has a blanket. They have their food. They have like a TV up on the wall. We get we get them like the top notch room, like the gold room. They have a TV and they play the pet uh, pet planet, and they give them snacks and they get personal time to play with the uh, people that work there. Or you can allow them to play with other dogs. I don't allow them to play with other dogs because they're not neuter. So I say they can have play time with the people that work there. So they'll send you pictures and all that, but they do not like when we leave. So going to a doctor is good because we're still there with them. When we leave, it's not funny because they'll be shaking and they're so scared and they hate it. Hello, Miss B. How are you? You want a husky? I think the husky is gorgeous. I think a husky is gorgeous. I love their blue eyes. I love the color of their fur. I think they're a really pretty dog. I really do. I think they're such a pretty dog. And uh, they're really cute when they're babies. Oh, a lot of puppies are cute when they're babies. But um, they're super duper cute with those dark blue eyes. They do. They be terrified, um, but I can definitely assure you the people in there, they're so nice to them. Like they love animals. And when they come in, they're like, oh, they just grab them, you know, like, and you'll see them kissing them and stuff. And, um, but it, it's a nice place. It's a really nice place. They even have a dog swimming pool. In the summertime, they'll let your dogs, yeah. Yeah. They have a dog swimming pool. And like I said, they'll have playtime with dogs. And they say, do you want your dogs to have playtime with the dogs or with people? I say with people. Because I don't, mm -mm, mm -mm. like I said, they're not neutered either. So I don't want, I don't want them to interact with other dogs. Oh, they do. They love to get out and roam. Okay. Oh, Oh, yeah, German Shepherds. That's what I was getting ready to say. I would never get a German Shepherd. They're they're nice, though. It's a nice, smart dog, but they shed too much. I couldn't imagine. I would have allergies from all of the shedding, and then I couldn't imagine having a house full of pet hair. Oh, no, that's too much. They did. They did. They got sick. They got sick one time and I was upset and they wind up saying, oh, it's just the cold. But they had antibiotics and everything. It was just a mess. Yeah, so that's happened before. Ron remembers. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, shout out to the big dog owners. Right. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, you had a German Shepherd? Huskies, they are. They're very pretty. Yes, they are. Oh, you grew up with German Shepherds. Okay. Oh, Snowball and Apollo. Look at that. Those are cute names. Yes, they are. Uh. I tell y'all what, I am super excited for my appointment tomorrow. What are we going to do at this appointment? I want to find out something. I want to know something. I want to schedule like an appointment to have surgery. I want to, to, I don't want, what am I going for? She didn't even tell me what I'm going for. She just says she want to see me back. Well, I'm, I'm showing up. <laughs> I'm going to be asking for another x-ray too. I like those, Drew. Um, I do like the wrinkled dog. I, I think they're really cute. But um, 
I also have learned that I, I really like this dog that is um, like, like my dogs, hyperallergenic. Don't shit. Smart. I want them to be smart and I don't want them to get big. I don't want a dog that gets big. I don't want a big dog. Mm -mm. Oh, you have a German Shepherd? Okay, Cheryl. Right, the fur would drive me nuts. I would go nuts. So uh, my dad's favorite dog is the, what kind of dog is it? Let's see, what is this? My, what is the dog that my dad likes? It's a dog that my dad likes. Uh, what is it called? Uh, oh, my dad likes the golden retriever. I guess he loves the golden retriever. And I guess like that's his favorite dog. He doesn't have a dog. He doesn't have one. But growing up, we had dogs. Um, but he had mentioned that he loves the golden retriever. And I thought, really? But they can be pretty. You have to make sure that they're always groomed, their hair is combed, and they shed a lot. I don't know how well he would do with lots of shedding. I hope she do Valencia. And I tell you what, Valencia, I'm going to tell y'all. I'm going to tell y'all. She, 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 I'm hoping she tell me something. <laughs> Cause I need to know. I'm ready to get the whole ball rolling. You had a dog 25 years. Oh, oh, you had a chow chow. Oh, you had a Doberman, German Shepherd, and a Husky mix. Their names were Prince and Princess. Oh, and they passed. I'm sorry to hear that. The Labradoodle. <laughs> Boxers, sassy. <laughs> I want to say Sonia so bad. That is a cute dog, I think. My husband said they got little heads. <laughs> like their body's muscular, but they got little heads. I think the boxer is kind of cute. I really do, especially when they're babies. What is going on? Let's see. I'm getting all kinds of messages. <laughs> My daddy, my dad is fine. Thank you for asking. What? A lot of people don't know what, what is. What is Ron? The chow chow. I love chow chow with my beans. Tell me exactly what that is. <laughs> you want it? He's so crazy. You are something else. Talk about, I want, you want a dog so mean. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. You don't want the dog to be that mean. My dog better not bite me. He know better. There is a, um, it, there is a dog that has poodle in him. I don't know what he's called, but I think he's the cutest. And they get big. Is it a golden doodle? And they have like curly hair. I, I can't think of what he's called, but I seen it one time and I thought, this is the cutest. April, how you doing? And welcome. Herlixa, hello. Oh, that's what the Obamas had. I like that hair, like that, that curly, that curly fur. I think it's like the cutest and they look like their fur is hyperallergenic. We have an eight month old multi-poo, multi-poo. Oh my gosh. Named Bandit. We had, growing up, we had a dog named Bandit and he was black. I don't know what kind of dog it was, but there's a picture out there of me holding the dog and like my legs are crossed 
in Indian style, and I'm holding this little doll, and all my siblings is around me. Your oldest dog is 14. Oh, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, Miss Tris, I hate to hear that. It, it is funny when people give their dogs. Uh, I, 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 in the video that I did about the dog, I asked, like, what's your name? I, I, I think I said, like, what's you guys' dog's name? Everybody was telling me their dog's name, and I thought, this is so cute. Somebody's dog's name was, what was it? Oscar and Meyer. I think I could be wrong, but it was something like that. And I just thought it was the cutest thing ever. A proud multi poo owner. Oh. Yes, absolutely, Drew. Wilbur. Oh, you know that's cute. That's such a cute name. Is Sharon from Bermuda. I love small dogs. Now we have two. Oh, Toby and Mona. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, Wilbur. You had a cat named George. See, now that's, I mean, it's not funny, but it's super funny because that's a human's name. <laughs> oh chip <laughs> that's kind of cute <laughs> you do <laughs> This coffee ain't do nothing for me, y'all. This, co this coffee didn't wake me up. This coffee didn't perk me up. This coffee didn't make me feel no better. <laughs> I have no energy, y'all. Man, I don't know how I'm even with you right now. <laughs> I have no energy. Sharon, that's great. Sharon, that's great. I'm glad you love it. You know, and I'm here for you to teach you a good recipe. Folgers, same thing I always have, you know. Angus, oh, <laughs> Cleopatra, how cute. <laughs> I didn't know they had like a spider emoji like that. That spider. No. Uh, <laughs> it's probably time to change that coffee brand. Well, usually it works. But remember I told you all like, once a month when I lose my energy and my iron. So that's what's going on right now. And I feel like, I feel like I'm not even awake right now. <laughs> I'm trying to talk to y'all and have a good conversation, but it ain't, it ain't, it ain't working. <laughs> I do need to be in the bed somewhere right now. Sure. Sure. I think they're all cute. Uh, Chanel. I think they're all cute and it can be interesting to uh, see the different dogs and what's in, you know, what they have in them, Chanel. So I think that it's great to see those type of dogs as well. <laughs> that roach. It was so funny when you put that roach on the screen the other day. I was like, I, people were saying, I didn't even know that there was a roach emoji. Do you drink Red Bull? I don't drink it. Um, no, I don't. But I heard it's not really good for your heart, you know, so I, I, don't, I don't really do that.
Thank you, Shirley. Try Colombian coffee. I know, I know. They are cute, Miss Tris. Someone had a hamster. You and your sister are going to the Underground Railroad. This will be your first time going. Your you and your sister be all over the place, don't you? You do. <laughs> I'm about to. I'm about to get off. I'm about to get off, y'all. I had a good time. <laughs> As much as I could. Yes, I, I, I'm I done, y'all. I'm done. I'm done. I have no energy. I need to go like straight to bed. <laughs> I need to go straight to bed. I will. I will take care of myself. I'll keep you updated. Um, there's a beautiful red cardinal out there. Um, tomorrow, if there's some really interesting um, information from the doctor, I'm going to, I maybe put it in the video form. And I don't know if I'm doing a video tomorrow, depending on how long I'll be at the doctor's. But you'll hear from me sometime tomorrow, okay? I love you. I love each and every one of you. Give me a big old hug. Bring it in. Give me a big hug, guys. I love you half to death. I love you so much. It's not the effects of the daylight savings time. <laughs> it's the effects of Mother Nature. <laughs> I love y'all. Yes, thank you. I love you too. So, um, you'll hear from me sometime tomorrow. Have a blessed week, and um, I'll update you on everything, okay? I love you guys. Thank you for the hearts. Okay, you all have a great night. I'm getting off. Good night, y'all. I'm going, I'm going to get in the bed. Bye. <laughs>